guidelines, the last guidelines were released in 2009, and when you look back, they're very simplistic. They used index patients, there were four index patients, healthy versus unhealthy, and T1A versus T1B. It was really very simplistic and kind of naive, and the, the new guidelines are much more rich. There's been a tremendous amount of uh, advances in the field, learning about uh, uh, the functional implications of the management of patients with kidney cancer, learning more about the effectiveness and the safety of the different management options. So the new guidelines captures all that. So some of the really new changes are we no longer have index patients, but rather the panel advocates for individualized management based upon oncologic considerations, functional considerations, and patient general health and comorbidities. So that's a major change since 2009. We really emphasize the functional uh, aspects of the evaluation and management, so we have statements and recommendations about s staging the level of CKD before intervention, who should be referred to the nephrologist. We uh, have strong considerations about what are the what is the impact of each management strategy on renal function.